What's up guys, welcome to a new episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. So off screen, what I've done is bought five magic beans and I also went and got three bottles of fairies because I'm not sure how I'm going to go in this dungeon. So without further ado, we are going to start the spirit temple once we go and plant a magic bean on the left hand side. Yeah, and yeah, the, actually no, there's something I did forget to get. We have to go this way. And sorry, I only got four magic bands. But yeah, you can get up to nine, maybe ten. But yeah, I think you only need four. You can get pieces of heart that I've been getting uh, with magic bands, but it's honestly easier just to use the long shot when you've got it. Like the one at the lakeside laboratory, the one at the Dongo's Cavern, uh, just above the Dongo's Cavern, I should say. And the other one. <laughs> that I don't seem to recall. Okay, just drop this. Hey, 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 hey. Wait, are you sinking? <laughs> These leaves are so kind. They save us from drowning in sand. Anyway, we're going to the Great Fairy Fountain and we're going to play the Song of Time to get the last magic spell. This is the second to last Great Fairy Fountain. The last one we'll be getting in the, like, <laughs> second to last episode, probably. Alright, so this is the Great Fairy of Magic again, and I'm just going to skip all this because you know what she's going to say. She's going to give us Naru's Love. Yeah, this basically creates a uh, sphere around you which makes you unable to get hurt for a few attacks. It can be pretty handy in dire situations, but it's not really necessary at all, in my opinion. I'll probably use it once or twice to show it off, though. Now, yeah, as Young Link, I'm probably going to need Bombs, Boomerang, and uh, Slingshot again, but I guess we'll see. Oh, and of course the Ocarina, but yeah. Alright, I'm just going to speed things up to get that quicker. And of course you can't expect to get that unscathed, because look what just happened to me. Now, you want to come over to these patches like this. Plant. Yep. And when you're an adult, those will be fully grown and you can get a piece of heart near here. Which is pretty cool. Pretty cool. Alrighty. Spirit Temple. This place is annoying. But fun. Master Quest version, not so fun. First, what you want to do is go and talk to this girl. This fetching young lady. Haven't seen you around, kid. What do you want? Nothing, really. You have nothing to do? What good timing. Can you do me a favor? Wait a second. I want to ask you first. You wouldn't happen to be one of Ganondorf's followers, would you? What if I am? Heh. <laughs> Don't try and act cool, kid. I was just asking. A kid like you could never be one of Ganondorf's followers. Well, let's cut to the chase. First of all, let me introduce myself. I am Nabaru of the Gerudo. I'm the lone wolf thief. But don't get me wrong. Though we're both thieves, I'm completely different from Ganondorf. With his followers, he stole from the women and children, and he even killed people. A kid like you may not know this, but the Gerudo race consists only of women. Only one man is born every hundred years. Even though our laws say that... Uh, lone male Gerudo must become the king of Gerudo. I have never bowed to such an evil man. By the way, what is your name, kid? Link. What kind of name is that? Well, anyway, I want to ask you a favor. Will you go through this tiny hole and get a treasure that's inside? The treasure is the silver gauntlets. If you could equip them, you could easily push and pull every oh, very heavy things. No, 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 kid. Don't even think about talking to this treasure, taking this treasure for yourself. The silver gauntlets won't fit on a little kid like you if you try to equip them. I want you to be a good boy and give them to me. 
Ganondorf and his minions are using the Spirit Temple as a hideout. Only the Silver Gauntlets will be able to allow me to sneak deep into this temple. Once there, I'm going to steal all the treasure inside and mess up their plans. How about it? Yeah, I'll do it. Alright, you and I, let's give Ganondorf and his followers a big surprise, shall we? Well, basically Ganondorf's two mums are here, so that's cool. I'm not even kidding. Well, two mums, uh, I won't spoil it. It's kind of messed, anyway. Vikings, kill them before they hit you. And I fucked up. Oh well. Who needs a shield when you're a master of Zelda? And he's gone. Oh yeah, we should probably put our boomerang on. Hey, just chuck it on like this. Alrighty, let's line these guys. Wait, where'd they go? Oh, there they are. Done. And that should open the doors to the left and right. I shall be heading to the one on the left first, because I can. And there's a guy I want to fight here, because normally I wouldn't be able to. It's a freaking stealthist, dude. Stealthos aren't fun to fight. Unless you've got Bigar on side. And look at this freaking pixie stick I've got in my hand. Just keeps going for the stab attacks, because they're probably the safest. You get a, recent, a decent amount of recoil, so he can't strike straight back. Um, and if you go for the jump attack like that, you'll, you'll just end up getting hurt. But because you're shorter than him, when he goes for the jump attack, he gets screwed over. This also makes for a rather interesting fight, if you ask me. Do it. Jump. Okay, should only be a few hits now. Come on. There we go. I hate these guys. Alright. Now, face that. Throw. No, I'm dumb. Uh, I think like that? Not quite. Not quite, let's get closer. There we go. There is a small chest over here, and let us see what's inside. And yes, here's another shield for us. But I don't think I'll use it just yet, and you'll see why very shortly. Oh yeah, these <laughs> this guy's a dick. Easiest way to do this is Din's file. And yeah, we're only missing, I think, two things off this subscreen, which is pretty cool. Solidly decent. Um, now, do I want to... Uh, fuck it, let's just do this. The only way to kill those guys is with fire. And that couldn't have come at a better time. Oh, never mind. Well, hopefully they don't respawn. Which seems to be the case, which is good for me. Because I just want to continue with this dungeon. We have to do a segue as Child Link and a segue as Adult Link. Of course, as Child Link, we have to obviously get the Silver Gauntlet. This is why I didn't want to put the shield on, by the way. And yes, there's a Skull here. Oh, and here's a dead hand. 
I mean, not dead hand. Why do I keep saying dead hand? Uh, they are wall moss. Wall mosses. Crap. Talk properly. Don't let those guys hit you. They're giant dicks. Let's grab this and that. Fly the coop to grace. We just want to finish this as quickly as possible. So we can nab that gold skull tool. To which end, of course, I have no idea where it is. I can hear it though, so that's always a positive note. That works. Wow. Quality shot, friend. Oh shit, he's got lit. Well, if we can get this and get out, I'll be happy. Let's put it that way, shall we? Oh, you bastard. Come here. Come here. Fine then. I'll just have to do this. Uh Duking. And yes, now they are all on fire and my printer's turning on so I'm sorry if you can hear that because my mum is apparently printing something because she's a professional cake maker. Alrighty. Let's go through. And yes, now that we have that one key, we can head through the center. Once lined up, of course. Sorry, let me just stretch. Shoulder's been hurting from the way I've been sitting, but that's cool. Well, I suppose so, at least. Quality shot link. Damn straight quality. Can we stop hitting the wall? Please. Alright, now let's go and fight some Dining Falls. Now you can probably still hear a skeletal as because there is a gold one behind us. And as I say behind us, I do mean behind us. Right there. Which I'll grab now because I can. You can get three as child link and two as adult link, just so you know. Alright, yeah, they're all easy to find. You're gonna be able to get the third one for a while. Oh, this spot's fun. Now you can do this with a bomb or bomb chew, but it's up to you. Nope, not quite. Nope. One, two, three, four. There we go. I thought it'd be easier than pulling out the bomb chews, because I don't really care. Um, and also hit this switch because you can. That will summon a chest that we can't get yet. When we actually. Yeah, hey, Tiny Falls. Buddy. It's been ages. Thanks for the magic. And that will activate that, thus summoning a chest up there, which we cannot get yet. Actually, wait, no, I'm lying, I think. One of these will be important. That's probably just the bomb cheese for this room, but I don't care. A chest is a chest. Probably not the best model to live by. Uh, push this thing down there. Don't jump down as a child. In my professional opinion at least. 
Uh, we're pretty much done as Child Link. That's not, no, it's not it yet. All right. Oh, I know where we're going. Sorry guys, I have to keep commentary to a minimum because my printer was going, I wasn't bothered to stop the game, so you saw probably some music then. Well, yeah. Yeah, that shit. I don't care. Now, oh wait, no, there's a, one more. I'm sorry. There's a bit more we can do here. Unsurprisingly, I suppose. Grab this rupee, that's lit. Um... What am I going to do? I'm going to check this on. Just add in fire, because we don't really need that right now. Because I've killed everything in this room, we may as well light it up. I didn't light all the torches. FYI. Um, where's the next one? Go back. Oh my god, I'm bad. This is going to burn off. Yep. Can we not get hit by that, please? Thank you. I even missed one at the start. Good gracious. Can we make it? Can we make it? Can we make it? Yes, we can. Turns out we're Bob the Builder 2015. Have you seen the new design for him? It looks horrible. Ruined my childhood. Anyway, we're gonna open this and I think it's okay. Yeah, there we go. Nice. And it looks like I'm about to die, which is probably gonna happen when I go fight the mini boss. Well, I suppose it's the boss for the child part of the dungeon, but it's the mini boss overall. Alright, so actually, if I push that one further, I can bring that all the way out. No, 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 no. Link, you stupid. Pull it out. Okay, now push that once. Pull this out. No. Pull it out, and because this has a sun on it, we can put it in the sunlight, thus opening the next door. Yeah, the child part of this dungeon isn't that difficult. Just make sure you have some health, because I don't really care about my HP, because I've got fairies, so I just kind of say YOLO, well, yeah, well no, I don't say that, but, yeah, I just go ham. Okay, there's the final door, well, the final door we will need to go through, I think, before we fight the mini-boss, well, there's a staircase here, yeah, now, Go off the first staircase to a complete 180, and there's the last gold sculpture for the child Link. And yeah, I changed sidebars again for this episode because I can. Mwahaha. Alrighty. We get all the health we can get, and go through the door and fight the mini boss. 
Oh, by the way, this guy's a dick. Just heads up. That's the way I like to start this. Now bait him. You gotta time things perfectly. Jump back. Oh, damn it. I missed it. This is actually really easy. If you can get your timing good. Oh no, he's faster. Shit. Oh damn it. Yeah, so he does a lot of damage. Come on. If you think you're hard enough. Cut and dusted, bitch. I'm actually not too uh, disappointed in that. Now let us go and claim our reward. Hey, what's up, Link? Surprised to see me? A long time in this world is almost nothing to you, is it? How mysterious. Even I thought that the tales of a boy who could travel back and forth through time was a merely a legend. Link, you have fully matured as an adult. Well, I am still 12. Uh, from now on, the future of Hyrule is in your shoulders. Maybe it's not my time anymore. Here is my last advice. Don't be a dick. No. Sweet. Thanks, dude. So, Link proved that who needs a shield? In the next episode, we'll be back here with Adult Link to finish what we started. Hang on, what's happening? Hey, where are you taking me? Ugh, let me go. You, you fiends, Ganondorf's minions. Link, get out of here, now! These witches, they're using black magic on me! What bitches? <laughs> um, where'd you go? Well, I suppose I'll see you all in the next episode of Let's Play The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the Nintendo 64. Thank you all so much for watching. Goodbye.